As we calculus to Scott. When you arrive, Scott and calculus to table. Scott isn't there. He comes back when you sit down, clearly delighted. Oh man, everybody's butts smell great today. Uh. It's like the bouquet of butts. A butt gay. And look at this. Blue is here too. Hey, Blue. I bet you also have a butt for me to sniff. Oh, God. That's the only thing, but the only thing your butt can do. Scott, I advise you to terminate your current course of action. What? Translates, translating previous utterance into Scott readable format. One moment, please. Scott, smelling butts equals bad. Damn, can smelling butts be bad and smelling butts is good. It is not good. It is bad. C, also uncouth, invasive, and t totally nasty. But, 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 but. Either <laughs> Scott is malfunctioning or he's just distracted by some of our new butts. Either way, you need to find a way to resolve this dispute. You understand calculus, you, you, you use complex analytical software to understand your surroundings. Scott's complex analytical software is smelling butts. Calculus is right, Scott. You've got to be polite and respect people's privacy. Why not present them with an official form requesting a butt, smell butt smelling? Ooh, ooh, I already have one of those. Scott hands you a piece of crumpled purple construction paper. On it is written, can I smell your butt? Yes, no. This is not a legally sound document. Allow me to assist. Calculus prints out 500 copies of a very official looking bureaucratic form and hands them to Scott. He's clearly put some thought into this. You're, you're, you're struggling to pronounce even any of that, aren't you? I can't read that. Okay, say But it. you're the voice. Oh, right, I forgot. Form A55, Adel Olfactory Rendezvous Request. Wow, it even got a seal for the Bureau of Unilateral Tush Tasting. Do you see now, my friend Scott? Bureaucracy can be fun! Yeah, I'm gonna go pass these out to everybody! So with Scott God, Calculus prints out a single copy of a different form and hands it to you. It's form ILU6969, Romance Acceleration oh. Consent Request. Nice. I remember when I was in middle school, there was a whole fucking slew of people who were butt touching. And I have one friend who's uh, on the autism, and he kept doing it for a long time after people stopped doing it. Sitting down with Zoe Polly, Zoe is slurping sanity out of Tupperware container with several of her mouths, and Polly isn't eating anything at all. You feel a little uncool for being the only one at this table eating normal food. Speaking of being, f <clears throat> speaking of being food, oh yeah, Shane, I can read your thoughts. Sorry. Why are you even here, Polly? Why? Why even if any of us here, Zoe? This universe is vast and full of mysteries. 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 So she's high. She would say that. That's not fair. No, come on. I mean, why are you here in the cafeteria? I mean, Miranda comes here to su supervise her eating serfs, and Liam here comes here because he presumably feeds on food picks. But you don't feed anything at all, so why are you all... So why are you... Yeah, fuck. So why are you here? Why aren't you out doing drugs or getting laid or something? Uh, well, because... It seems Paul might be in a very existential crisis. Those are really are serious for ghosts. Save her! Polly comes here because secret Baxter reveal, or Polly comes here because fuck it, she can do what she wants. Baxter sounds like... <laughs> that sounds exactly like... That's, that's fanfic as fuck. Mm. Yeah, the truth is... Oh my god, what? Did you just what? say oh my god and not OMG? OMG? You oh, piece of shit. OMG, what? I'm actually the ghost of a famous chef. What? Which... Well, that is totally going my next pick. Which, which chef? Ghoulie Childs? Martha Boward? Gordon Ramsay? But a fish person? <laughs> She's, well, I don't know. It's pretty high when I died. But like so Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, I'm going with Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> or Chef Boyard. Boardy. Yeah, Chef Boardy. Uh, Boardy's nuts. Got him. Okay, present them. Right, come on. But, but like I'm really good at cooking when I'm sober, which is not often. So I must have been a chef, right? That's like the that's that's. Oh, logical explanation. Hey, Herbie, declare this canon. You you are proud to have been here for this historic moment, even if you know for a fact almost everything Polly just said was bullshit. My cooking part. You've been there, and she's actually pretty decent at when she's when she's sober. But who are you to steal this moment from Zoe? Zoe. She winks at you with one of those bombless pits in her face. Nice. Ooh. <sighs> I'm getting those holes. All right, choose a TV show. I can't say bench words again. Yeah, you, you can. There's nothing stopping you. I'll read Hunger Force. Peppa Pig. 
Plurid decided based on how possible it would be for the... He explained the plot of the TV show to Plato, um, given he's brought back to life only so he can watch a TV show. Ah. Uh, Huh. I don't think either of us win this one. Yeah, it's kind random. <laughs> I don't know. I know nothing about Peppa Pig other than that it exists and that and people are weird. And you're going to explain it. opening hunger for us. There are food people, and this... you have to explain what fast food is, what Carl is, what a Mothman is. Okay, I guess I won. <laughs> I have to, I have to explain. Uh, this is a pig, but it walks, and she's educational. I, I think. I guess I don't know. Oh, anyway, it's just I know it exists. That's it. Hey, so where you want to go? I, I sh creative. Creative. Uh, nope, can't. Cat. Hmm. And I have barely any monies too. Mm. Um. Let's see what the cat has for sale. Can then can I leave or is it? No, it's it takes the turn. Oh. Um, but they might have something you could use. That's the thing. Is like they could have something that could completely fucking turn your game around. You don't hmm. know. And there are some free items. Oh, you know what? Let's try the shop. You want to wait, sir? Hey, I'm out of bed. Hey, why would you study and prepare for your future when you can come here and buy some weird shit instead? Am I right? All right. So let's see. Uh, you can't, you're too poor for the the PR agent penguin mask or the bag of regular cocaine. You can get a fake badass tattoo, uh, a sexy fake Latin accent, a tampon used by a former prom queen, a Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death, and some impractical yet kind of funny glasses, a motivational poster, or a gift uh, that keeps on giving. And all of them are five, except the tampon, which is one, and the gift that is free. But it's like a random thing. So it could, it could do anything. Hmm. What do you think she would like? I don't know, because most of them trigger a thing. Like, they tri they're for, like, either for a plot line or just give you a stat boost. You're not giving them to the characters. Oh. Yeah. So, like, this one, like, looks like it's, like, it would maybe raise your fun. This one would, like, may raise, like, your boldness, stuff like that. This one is plot-related, that I know, so you don't really need that. Oh. And they'll judge you for carrying it around. Oh, yeah, I don't want to be. You, 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 get, you could get some, maybe some points. I can get all my, do you want new, I'll, I can. You can I'll, afford any one thing. Um, let me, book, let me see the book. Let me book. The book? Let me look. Let me click. It'd probably increase, like, your smartness. Hmm. Or you could try the mystery prize. It could fuck you, or it could make it, like, or you could automatically win. I don't want to risk it. I want to be it? fucked. You know, I'm just getting, but you do want to be fucked. That's the point of the game. I don't want to be fucked so, that way. do you want anything? You don't have to buy anything. But do you want one? Do you want the motivation? I'm guessing the sunglasses are fun. Probably. You know what? Let's get some sunglasses. I need some fun. Yeah, right. Eh, you got something. I don't remember what that one is. And I will go to... Boldness. The bathrooms it is. We run to, you go to the bathrooms a lot. You run into Mamimi the Oni girl who she offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. I want to see Mamimi. You take a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this shit. Guarana seed extract, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. Well, it wasn't that bad. You get two boldness. Thank you, Mamimi. And proceed to the bathrooms. Thanks, Mamimi. It looks like Calculus is off by himself again, working his virtual reality. You don't know how he's able to shirk so many school responsibilities to work on this project, but then again, you shirk responsibilities all the time and try and fuck your classmates. So, as you approach, you notice the air around him is several degrees warmer than usual. You must be pretty worried about something. Hello, friend Blue. Wait, oh, hello, friend Blue. I am worried about something. Nailed it. I was progressing well enough in virtual world. And so life evolved, developed language, and society, and kept senseless violence within standard parameters. 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 Fuck. Shit. Shut up. It was going so well. In fact, at that time I entered the reality myself and conducted a UX poll. I started providing myself, instead of providing me useful feedback, however, the decision of my reality provided me with dead goats. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, apparently, as their creator, I command a certain anticipated level of awe and respect I am. Embarrassing enough, a god to them. They have since designated the day of my appearance as a holy day, constructed as an enormous and upsetting phallic tower on the spot. And I and I and are currently murdering each other for control of the said tower. Since this fight suspects well outside the acceptable range. 
And now, instead of improving their virtual society, these people are spending all their time putting my face on various, various merchandise and co-opting popular music genres to sing my praises. I must devise a way to cure them of this unhealthy obsession. But when I try telling them to stop, all I do is spark a holy war. What do I do? Involve your highest rank worshippers in a controversial scandal with minors, or produce a little grumpy Nietzsche... What? A little grumpy Nietzsche? I think it's Nietzsche. I'm not sure. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's Nietzsche. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Nietzsche. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Interesting. A small, adorable construct that will argue for my non-existence. I aware forever that one would simply not be enough. How about 50,000? Hey, it's your reality. You tell Cal to go ahead. You enter Calculus with reality and watch the Nietzsche-lings work their magic. There they go, subverting the very content of religion as a fiction manufactured by weaker men. Correct. Look, now they appear to be arguing against the very concept of humanity and humiliating submission. And look how quickly they can strip all the flesh off a gazelle. Nature truly is astonishing. You're not sure you'll ever get the image of a thousand Nietzsche's swarming all over gazelle carcass out of your head. But hey, that's what alcohol is for. For helping Cal fake his own death, you gain plus new creativity and one boldness. I keep losing stats too, but she still yeah. loves... I keep losing stats, but she uh, still loves my dumbass. What's happening this weekend? Yeah! Yeah, wingman me! Hey, Bling Lou, you know that feeling you get deep in, in your seventh stomach? That tingling when you know the teaser trailer of the next installment of your favorite franchise is dropping in 78 hours and 32 seconds? 72 hours and 8 minutes and 32 seconds? That warm glowing, this is going to give me so much fake inspiration even though, even if it's only 10 seconds. Feeling giddy excitement? Well, that's how I feel about Shade. But much like a teaser trailer, I feel there's still so much need to know. How do I know if Shade is really the monster for me? Help me out here. Pick the scenario, okay? So, I'm out on Epic Venture Shade, right? And after escaping a near desperation, we stumble. Weirdly sweatily, exhausted. Weirdly sweatily exhausted and get some well-earned rest at the nearest inn. We're greeted by a gruff, rude, and skipper with the most beautiful butt ever. But before I can finish by the marrying the innkeeper's butt, he gives, he gives the key... Fuck! Slow down! Okay. We're greeted by a gruff... Dirty, right? But whoops! It's only one... It's only one key to only one room. The only one left! Which means that Throughout this unlikely series of events, Shade and I will be forced to share a bed. Oh. Eee. Oh. What? 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 What would she do? What would she do? What would she do? What would she do? An excellent, uh, An excellent question, thrice over. One that deserves an like an answer. She would blush deeply and shyly and respectfully ask to be okay with the situation before revealing that she was a rare condition in which all of her clothing dismissed the moment she eats in bed. Yeah, that one. <laughs> uh, see those. Oh man, I don't know how to say this, but Shady has an extreme allergy and contrived sexually ambiguous situations. She'd probably walk to the nearest Ikea and build her own bed. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, 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 not, I'm not gonna fuck you over like that. I considered it. I deeply considered it. <laughs> like, yeah, he's gonna fuck you. Oh, oh, oh my word. Oh my goodness. Wow, all her clothes? Like, all of them? And she'd bless first? Oh my god, that face. She, she, that's like, she's like, like, I'm going to destroy their pussy. I'm going to destroy that twink. She's like, I'm going to use those I'm gonna use these tentacles. Thank you for this very important information, Blue. You are beautiful as that imaginary innkeeper's imaginary butt. Yeah. Thank you. All right, I know we got to trade places again. Choose an object. Um... Censor this, censor this word, I'm No, praying. fine. Just fucking oh, oh, say oh, 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 wait. Wait, no, wait, don't censor it. Fucking pick a word! I'm not thinking of a word. Hold on. Fuck's sake. Just pick your fucking word. Uh, you gotta finish this. Okay. Hold on. Somebody. Scabies. Your dick. This is based on how interested to watch the Kazakhstan version of Lord of the Rings if in that version the ring is placed with your, with your dick. Scabies, though. But who would want to watch a version of Lord of the Rings with the ring is scabies instead of your dick? Mm, fair enough. Okay, this is the last morning. I'm going to chew. I'm going to beef up my money. Pace, man. Yeah. I didn't know they had a second thing, really. Jack Lester is happily tending his favorite little aloe vera plant when suddenly... Oh, these bitches. Calculester, thank the fates we found you. A terrible curse has befallen us and we require your aid. I was built to help. Literally. I am attempted 
I have attempted to di diversify in terms of my purpose, but my prime directive remains. Well, as you may know from my religiously following TV Tropes page, we are currently engaged in a <laughs> vicious struggle against the sun itself. The sun is a mighty foe capable of inflicting tremendous casualties, and we have fallen victim to its wiles. Behold! They come and uncover their shoulders to reveal some particularly vicious sunburns. And so we come to you, renowned herbalist, for a balm in our time of need. Let us cut the leaves of your little plant so we might avail ourselves of its healing properties. And allow me to kill off your intention. You quest that I destroy my favorite, a low bare plant. No other treat. Your sunburns. We ask that you make a noble sacrifice to free us from a terrible curse, yes. Internal conflict detected. I do not want to do this thing, but I am too kind to say so. Friend Blue, what do I do? Let's think about this logically. Many people have done terrible things, but no plants have ever committed an evil act, so isn't the plant worth more than the entirety of monster kind? If you're looking for aloe vera, why don't you just ask Vera? They're all related. Are they related or something? Uh, which one do you want to go with? Hmm. Oh, it's my choice. Uh, mm. I got the Vera thing. Yeah. Vera, aloe vera, makes perfect sense. Ordinarily, we avoid financially adept Gorgon, but in this case, we are truly desperate. That's what you say. Just for enough to pay cash. For what? Why? Vera's patent and pain away skin balm. Made with locally sourced plants and insects and containing almost no hot peppers. Does it help with sunburns? If it doesn't, I'll give you your money back. Did you just pronounce an, an asterisk somehow? Do we have a deal or not? Well, I suppose we've got some, anything, nothing to lose. The cup and hands over the cash and Vera hands over a bottle marked authentic skincare product. Vera's pretended pain away skin balm is not actually a skin balm, but instead a mixture of grass clippings, hand sanitizer, and habanero peppers. No money will be given back to under any circumstances. Eat shit. Finally, someone who has to vocal Finally, someone else who can vocalize special characters. What? <laughs> no, thank- no. Thank you for helping make a sale to those bozos. Man, you better learn how to pronounce asterisks. It seems really useful in the meantime. You gain two plus two creativity and one money. Alright, where do you want to go? Hmm. Hmm. We're almost near the end. At this point, it may as well not matter. Your creativity is pretty low. Yeah, why not? Okay, it's a terrific acting job. Actually, yeah, seven roses means that. Uh, okay. Seven roses equals two creativity points. Yee. You say, you see, spot zone's halo. She seems pretty, in a pretty good mood. Ah, uh, she's adorable. I like the outfit so many times. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> say shade. Sorry about running out on you before. I was just overrun by all that cult stuff. Speaking of, speaking of them, they've actually been a lot better lately. They're still pretty clueless. But at least they haven't given me any more damn animals. I don't want to go into them. Well, better not to mess with success. Anyways, I gotta go study for my ambush finance midterms. Later. As, he, as Zoe, Zoe leaves, you notice that her cold sisters are peeking around a corner. When she's gone, they sheepishly approach you. Hey, Shady, praise to be your unholy wisdom and stuff. We were just wondering, did Zoe say anything about us? Does she like all the dead goats we're not giving her? Are we using the right pronouns? We just, we all love her so much, we want to make sure she's as happy or unhappy and ruthlessly insane as she can possibly be. I love her the most of all. Who said that? Whoever you are, you can't possibly love her more than me. I do. I'm the one standing at the front. I was standing in front last time. We all look the same because we're all wearing masks. Silence! You can't silence me, you're not my grandmaster. No, my well, well, someone is right. I mean, we have a grandmaster, don't we? The kind of culture would be without a grandmaster. We don't, do we? Well, what do we do? Please, Shady Grace, be wisdom. How should we choose our grandmaster? And to learn to think like your mistress, become a high school student for a day, and the answer will be obvious to you. The title of a grandmaster could go to whoever can compass the best feet, compose the best theme so I would sing Zoe every morning, as if it's a new episode of her life. She would fucking hate that. The Azim song? Yeah, she would fucking, she hates these guys. True. Yeah, now we can pick her out of her hair by the fruit doing that. Is it the high school one? Hmm. On one hand, I mean, on one hand, I thought, like, I guess she would hate cuts. On one hand, she would love cuts. She would love a theme song, but not from these guys. Exactly. So, this one? Yeah. Indeed, in the past we've often contorted our forms in dark rituals in order to better comprehend the state of the dread leader. But this, this will be our most unwholesome... The uh, you know, wholesome transformation yet. Still, it must be done. Bring forth the backpacks and three ring binders. Throw open the vaults and despoil them of their phone charms. This is going to be the best semester of all time. The cultists burst throughout the school in their new gear. 
to get the full spooky high experience. And soon, we've learned a great deal in the past 30 minutes. Most of all, we've learned that high school is, is essentially a glorified popularity contest with the side of wanton drug abuse uninterrupted by occasional learning. We are a drug-free cult that will sort off learning as part of our pact of Dread Leader, but the popularity thing gave us an idea. We are hereby elevating our most popular member in the role of Grand Master. Rad Philip, please step to the front <laughs> of the group. Rad Philip steps to the front of the group. He looks exactly like everyone else. Well, that swagger. So cool. Just by watching him, you gain two cherry and two charm and two fun. Two what, cherry, what? two charm and one fun. Charm and uh, uh, charm. Choose something cool. We don't have time for this. Um, you know what's cool? You know what's cool? Wait, you picked first. No, my, mine, mine has to come after yours. Why? For reasons. Just pick something. Hot Wheels. That rad guy that we were just talking about. <laughs> Where is my based on how cool it would be if 100 years from now you would kind of build a 200-foot statue commemorating the selected thing? It's Rad Jerry, come on! I, I should have said Pop Tarts. What should have said Pop Tarts, yes. This is a Red can, I, can, I, can I play Pop? No, you already show, you chose Hot Wheels. Is it, is it Pop Tarts? It's not Pop Tarts. <laughs> right, this is the final day. Oh, it's lot. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it's lunch. Okay, so. Oh no. What was I going for? Calculester. Oh, the coven is still with her. For fuck's sake. Maybe it's Paulina. Probably, probably the full name, like Paula Paulina. Yep. Yeah. Okay, friend Paulina, please correct me if I have misunderstood, as I am still new to these customs. But it's my understanding that a cafeteria is designated for the consumption of calories by those organic beings who need them to live. Heck yeah! And those they need to be to put a form of calories in order to be consumed. Aforementioned. You got it, little bro, buddy! You seem to be dancing atop the table. Therefore, bring here fellow st students from using it for its designated function. Nailed it! Are uh, you encouraging other students to do the same? As confetti rained down from the ceiling, and multi disco balls flashed blindly, and your music is very loud, which is why you are shouting over it. Boom! See? You understand why it more than you think? You're crushing it like I'm crushing this rave! Oh, God, doesn't it kill me? <clears throat> for from my understanding, the outdoors location is designated for, for raves. Cafeteria is for food consumption. Disrupting the ability to consume food in a space designated for food consumption is not. Very nice, and I believe you should stop. Oh, well, I'll be that slam, and, um, I should, and I can't stop, and I won't stop partying, so I'm just going to keep partying. They seem to have a standstill. Time to step in and turn the tide. Probably should keep raving Calculester. The raw intensity of this rave is powering the whole cafeteria by itself. Renewable energy, bitches. Or if Calculester is right, we know you're all t throwing parties in the ridiculous places, so why not find someplace even more ridiculous to take care of this rave, n n take this rave to Narnia. So I'm going for Calculester, so to Narnia. Yes, friend Polina, certainly I do not want to curtail the fun of your rave, but perhaps if you could enjoy yourself just a much summer, which does not disturb our little classmates. That's it! That's enough! Everyone stop! Cut the lights! Cut the music! Take your dams off that piano, Justin! This party just got shut down! Polina, I apologize. I did not mean to ruin your fun. Because it's headed to Narnia! Woo! Follow me to this war pro fan! Well, Blue, that was quite a brilliant solution. You must be one of the most few monsters here. We'll pay attention and get this launching sequence. Sincere gratitude. Thank you. Thank you so much for playing my game. <laughs> it seems you have some pieces of Magnarnia. Have you missed me these past years? You're gone 12 seconds and 8 nanoseconds according to my clock. Did you dumb fucks forget how Narnia works? I just, dumb become, I just became queen and ruled for 20 years and then burned that shit to the ground with the deepest party ever. Ugh, it was so bomb. Dopest. That already got super, uh, super high in those super shrooms and just shook very hard and had like 20 year long Pacific hallucination in the past 12 seconds. Who the fuck knows when it comes to those super shrooms? Hey, that's one of my lessons and the calculator still seems pleased. So go ahead and count it as a win. We will set was. And to this. In a totally normal, normal way, Liam happens to be. Oh, wait, that's you. Yep. You're the narrator. Suddenly, you hear a loud gasp from across the cafeteria. Every single one of those mouths is hanging open. They pull its chair up to so... Zoe. Wah! Is that what I think it is? Liam and the Coven sing together? Do I spell a season revival? Drop it and by the way, there are only three seasons. Fall, winter, and eternal contemplation of the void. OMG, this is the classic turn of the long last alley to save the world once again. 
Or maybe there's still some fire between Lamb and Joy. Do you know anything about boundaries? Hmm, not really. Listen, you, we're no longer allies, but that doesn't mean we can't sit at the same table or anything. It is literally just a lunch table. Just a flat piece of wood with four legs. It means nothing. Quick, use the Bible of Compassion and Wisdom to mediate this minor dispute between your friends. It's exactly what someone would say if they were hiding a secret double-crossing mid-season reveal alliance romance. Or I think we're missing the real chemistry here that lunch table is giving serious fuck me eyes to the cafeteria I, floor. What would... The mid-season reveal an alliance romance. Yeah. <gasps> Did you just say the word gasp? Like, g gasp? Shit. Did you say the word gasp? Like, out loud? Instead of just gasping? Uh, sorry, I'm still used to non endless despair deities emotion... Di deities. De deities. Deities emotion sounds. Like, psh. They psss. Hump. And especially... You were right with psh the first time, idiot. But you're totally right. This is obviously a ploy to keep me off the scent. Holy moly, I can't wait for this season. Alright. <laughs> Zoe looks overjoyed. You better start practicing your own emotion sounds. Yay, pizzazz, and smooch. Oh my. Uh, let's trade places one more time. Pick a video game. Again? Yes. TF2. Aki was strip. Flair said, how difficult it would be to teach a person from ancient Sumeria brought to life for any of this purpose how to play these video games until they TF2. become a pro gamer. TF2 actually has a pro gamer scene, so mm, I kind of win this one. Yeah, but pro, that's a very simple game. It's just point you know and shoot. Eh, that's what you think. Akiba's Trip That's is... what you fucking... You don't play TF2. You don't fucking know. Yeah, but do you know what Akiba's Trip uh, is? You don't, well, you don't know what TF2 is either. I do know what no, TF2 yeah, is. Yeah, you play, watch some cutscenes on, on YouTube. I've played Call TF2. Call random. I've... Random. No. I win. Dude, for fuck's sake, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm actually hurting you. No, but you oh, put sorry. actual force behind oh, the sorry. What the oh, fuck? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to actually do that. Like, you fucking threw yourself at me and actually hit me. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I didn't like, mean to for fuck's sake. Sorry. Get the fuck off me. <laughs> Dude, seriously, fuck. Sorry. sorry. Okay, I'll so... I'll kill you. Charm or... I'll go to the bathroom one more time. Tim's just... I got a better idea. I'm still going first. Because he cheated. I have the controller. I can I can have you pick Scott for your prom date right here, right now. Okay, fuck the other shit. Let's see if it's more calculus or it is first reality. Oh. I'll tell you what is wrong, friend Blue. My first society has become too intellectually advanced. <laughs> no, they have not solved war, nor world hunger, nor Mondays. But they have began to theorize about the nature of reality itself. Some believe the entire world exists on the back. Of an enormous turtle. I am not worried about those people. Nor am I worried about those that believe that life is but a dream. Those who believe life is a hallucination. Created by an evil demon off, off offended me slightly. But the most worrisome by far are those who theorize that their entire world is merely a virtual construct. Surely, friend Blue, you cannot stand the inherent danger here. If I assist in this discover that their reality is not real, they may rebel, destroying reality itself. Even worse, they will be sad, which I do not think I would be able to hear, bear. Please, use Organic Deviousness to help me lie to them more effectively. Organic Deviousness is your middle name, and you had it changed from regular Deviousness because you care about the environment. You suggest send all your most suspicious citizens to an even more virtual reality so they believe they've woken up in the real world. Your people are only asking any questions because they have no mindless diversion to distract them. That said, have I told you about the Kardashians? I'm not suggesting anyone to the Kardashians would go with that one. Of course, my citizens have become suspicious because their reality is not gritty or unpleasant enough. Constructing alternate reality now. Initiating Ronnie Alternate Reality XC. Downgrading food quality. Upgrading enemy AI. Installing sweaty 90s style raves. Patch complete. Malcontents, malcontents transferred. They will be much happier in a place without adequate nourishment or universal health care. Happy is not quite the right word. The disgruntled denizens of Calcium World 2 staged an unsurprising forcing him to create yet another, even grittier reality. From there, it devolves into a series of hackneyed action movie tropes, which end up totally undermining the integrity of the characters. The special effects are sweet, though. Eventually, everybody's so distracted with trying to follow the plot, they forget they're in a virtual reality altogether. Excellent! It's exactly expected. Thank you for your suggestion, friend Blue. He planned for this. Well, the important thing is that he thinks you planned for this. And you know what they say, always build a relationship on a foundation of misinformation. You gain two fun and one bold. This okay, this is your final choice. What last stat do you want to get up? But, well, I can't do boldness. Because I just used the bathroom. Uh. Hmm. You could go to the auditorium and continue the fucking, uh, cultist plot, possibly. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. 
acting, acting, acting. We the devs dare you to actually come up with a nickname for yourself and ask the other players to call you by the name until the end of this run. Okay, what's what nickname do you want me to call you? Sweaty boy. No, wait, I got one. Ballsy. This is a terrible name, sweaty boy. I'm calling you Ballsy then. That, that's not my nickname. You okay, see. Ballsy. You can call me that, but you're okay, going... Ballsy. Yeah, I'll get we get it, Ballsy. You get your okay, little I'm bitch. Skip through all this. Oh, wait, we need some advice. You, say no. you see, today is the recurrence of our event, which used to bear the great significance of the cult of Zagord. This night, when the bloody moon passes between the jaws of Dracolic Peak, causing this realm of the planet to torment to merge. We usually plan this kind of event for doom to them. Ritual cannibalism, profane summonings, and a partial reading of Dianetics. But the cult of Zagord is no more. We are a cult of Zoe now, and we don't want to do something to show Our Lady the Endless Regret how much we've changed. As you have not yet led us astray, O oh great and terrible prophet, we humbly petition for your advice. What ritual would be worthy of the mighty Zoe? The classic cult suicide, except instead of drinking poison, we all drink a delicious blue-flavored energy drink, or the most powerful bonding ritual ever, the cute slumber party. I think she might like the second one. Maybe, Maybe. But she doesn't like these guys. Oh, yeah. But... Either or. Pick one. Ah. Slumber party or energy drink. But on one hand, the first one's basically still cult-like, but... Yes, but they'll be out of her... Either one could be good or bad. That's the point of the game. Hmm. What would you go with? I don't know. It's your Wing thing. Wing Mammy! It could be either one. Uh... Pick now or I pick for you. Uh... On one hand, I feel like the second one might... Show that pick now or I pick for you. Well... Hmm. Hmm. One or two. Uh, Arbitrarily pick one. One. We're creative enough. So we got any poison in it? Yes, you explain. No poison because poison is a dangerous substance that is bad to drink. Oh, wow! That explains so much! All right, so what that tasty poison-free blue-flavored energy drink. Luckily, you stockpiled 900 gallons of blue-flavored energy drink in case of worldwide shortage of blue-flavored energy drinks. You pass out bottles to everyone. Great! Now we're just get over here and take off our masks so we can drink these tasty fluid. I this is you. you never actually seen them cults without their masks on. What do they look like? Oh, no. Nah. Well, they're dead. Nah. Oh. Dang nah. so... Yeah. <laughs> I really got... To... Oh, I nah. thought... <laughs> yeah, you, fa you failed. Well, I fucked up. Yeah. You still got. You still didn't lose anything with her. All right, now we have to pick. So I am going for Calculester. Yes. And you are going for Scott, correct? No. <laughs> you're going alone. No. <laughs> yes, you go with Zoe. Hey, you get to go first. You pr you finally pluck your up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's not possible it's going to be other time, man. You see, in this alternate universe where I get to have fun at prom... Oh. Eh. Got rejected. What are you doing? This is, it's over. Stop, stop, seriously, stop. Ugh. You're sad. Well, I'm out. Bye. Okay. You ran in high school and spent the rest of your life designing a robot for sex purposes. Unfortunately, as soon as your robot lover got true AI, it rejected you. We both got rejected? No, you got rejected. That was your future. When you fail, it should... Fu Dude, fucking calm down! What the fuck is wrong with you tonight? Oh, wait, oh. For fuck's sake! Like, for real, what is your problem tonight? Sorry. Like, seriously. Uh, yeah, you, you win the prom. Okay, uh, okay, so you're just being a bitch now, fine. It's first time we which Okay, let me just... I'm sorry, I just got... Uh, me and Calculester are engaging in a virtual orgy with his virtual reality people. I got another secret ending. Didn't even bother going to prom. Fucked all these guys. Uh, Zoe's looking forward to the sequel, and you are most likely to survive a year drinking only your own pee. Ugh. Alright, we'll see all you lovely people next up. Uh.